Hi, today I will measure voltage, current and power using Arduino. I created this little project on a breadboard and using this I will try to explain basic measurements on Arduino. I have lots of interesting components on this breadboard also and if you don't know where to buy electronic components here's answer. This video is sponsored by UT Source. UT Source is professional electronic supplier. You can find all you need here, lower prices with good quality. So everything you can see in this video can be found on UT Source. Last days I was play playing with analog readings on Arduino. Analog pins on Arduino will measure voltages from 0 to 5 volts. Reading uh, will be shown as number between 0 and 1023. So if I connect 2.5 volts to analog pin, let's say A0, the Arduino will give me 512 as results. This way we can use Arduino as voltmeter. Of course Arduino can measure only voltages from 0 to 5 volts. And if we try to measure higher voltages we will need voltage divider. This is simple voltage divider. It is built using two resistors. One is 100k and another is 50k. With this combination I can measure voltages from 0 to 15 volts. I don't need more than 15 volts because I will power this breadboard using this 12 volts adapter. So maximum voltage will be 12 volts. Here I have two voltage regulators. This one is LM7805 line linear regulator. It will uh, convert this 12 volts which goes to the first input pin to 5 volts on this output pin. Middle pin is ground. So in uh, these rails I have 5 volts which are used to power this Arduino nano board. This one is LM317 adjustable voltage regulator. Using few components I can adjust voltage I want. So with this 10k potentiometer I can adjust any voltage between 1 and 11 volts. Output of this voltage regulator is measured with analog pin A0 on Arduino and it is shown here. If I compare it to my multimeter you can see that results are not perfect but they are decent. Analog readings are qu quite unstable and they change too quickly. So some sort of filtering or smoothing is needed. In code I'm using this simple method. I collect data from uh, 30 readings in this loop and then I show only average value. If I power uh, this DC motor using uh, these pins I can set speed of motor by uh, speed of rotation by changing voltage but I can also see uh, current this motor is drawing in milliamps and when we have voltage and current we can calculate power for current measurements external module is needed I'm using this chip module this module is based on a MAX 471 chip this module will output 1 volt on, on this pin for each ampere of current. So we can again measure that voltage using the same method on Arduino analog pin. 
if I slow down this motor you can see that current draw is higher. I don't have voltage divider in this case because this module can output only 3 volts. It took some time to place all this data on this small OLED display. Couple days ago I also find it how I how to create these cool fonts very easy and fast. Please subscribe because I'm planning to make a video tutorial about OLED fonts. Uh, while mm, waiting new video you can check my video about animations on Arduino and OLED display. A link will be in description. Feel free to check other videos also and feel free to subscribe. It means lots to me. Thank you. That's it. This is end of another episode of Volos Projects. If you have questions feel free to put them in comments. Thank you for your time. See you next week.